Hey guys, just an update here. Worked on the international 710 plow. Uh, 518s. Just getting it set up. Gotta move the bar here over four inches that way. So I'm pulling the right the front shears and the fur in the right spot. And got the one dual on the 4040 here. Pulls a lot nicer with it. Just a little update here. So yeah, do a couple two passes here. Get the three point depth set rate and just to test it out. Other than that, not much going on. It's really starting to get nice. Something's going down there. Stack mover. Works a lot better than the thigh would. It's always a bonus. Got the other duel for the tractor. Five sixties there. That's running good. so far so good this year. Move some move the heifers around today, took the bulls out and move that one heifer and calf back down here. So far they're enjoying their new new pasture here. The calf is enjoying it anyways. Ah, there's mama. Yeah. That red one there. That black one over there. Right. Will be the next two to calve. They look like they could calve tonight, but they've looked like that for the last week, so hard to tell. Yeah, got a really beautiful sunset going on here tonight. If you can hear them, the bulls are kind of pissed that we took them out. They'll get over it. Look happy. Got some out of the got some out of the usual place I usually feed them. I'm trying to get that mess cleaned up. Hopefully get uploaded the sand and brought in, pour some cement. So it's actually a nice place to clean up and not such a mud hole. So yeah. Excited to get in the field and start plowing and stuff. Looking forward to it. Maybe my first year out on that semi mount plow I always had a three bottom pull type plow. I think it was a pain in the ass. Did the job, it was just a pain in the ass. Getting on there on hay. So hopefully everything greens up here pretty quick. The emptiest this place has ever been. That pile's all straw. All the other steers just seem to be doing pretty good. Markets suck, but not much I can do about that. So, yeah. This morning there was like three feet of hay piled up right in there and that was right in there was belly deep on the heifers almost. Here's the two bulls. He's being grumpy down there. So I'm pretty sure there's a heifer and heat on the other side. Fat heifer. 
Hopefully he stays away from her. Yes, we got two bulls because, well, the red one's half Angus, half Fleckby, and I wanted him, and then the white phone, this little black one here. A friend of hers had a, had a set of twins board, and we got the one pretty much for nothing, and she wanted to keep him as a bull because he's purebred Angus. So, we'll see what happens here. Pretty sure the issue though the red one got them all. So hopefully the other three heifers out there, hopefully they all have red chaos. <laughs> Summer project right there. Pulled that hayrack out of the woods. Floor running into junk. The streamers might actually be okay under it yet. I just need to go find some four by fours or something. I have deck I have decking to put on it. I just need the cross four cross member four by fours or whatever and straighten it out and fix the tire on it. It's one tire. Surprisingly, when we pulled it out of the woods, the one had one tire was still pumped up full. The other two took air, and they look like they're still full. So. I don't know, it's probably sat for, oh, it's probably been in the woods for a good 25 years, or 20 years at least, 25. Picker chopper, hay bides over there somewhere. That's all I got left to feed, just a little bit. It lasts as long as it usually does. Love that sunset. Parker's getting down there. Actually, we had a snowstorm last um, sun last a week ago today. Actually, we had a snowstorm. Got ten inches and now got moldy fucking corn in there. Piss me off. Not much I can do about it. Just feed around it or feed it in, mix it in. Don't know what else to do with that. Already mixing it 50 50 with shelled corn, buying from the co op, so it's not like 100% crap feed going into these steers, but yeah. yeah. This last summer that sucker was full up to right there, right across from the straw. It's all the way up to the top, all the way back. Quite a bit of straw, quite a bit of hay in there. But miscalculated a little bit, sold a little bit too much to a friend for their horses, and just kind of screwed me over. But live and learn. So, yep. Shed's coming apart. Got more tore part on that. Got the old white beast out the other day. Hauled some logs over to the neighbors for him. But I'm gonna keep working on this thing. Hopefully get it moved a couple more inches and go and eat supper. So, yeah. Get some videos of this, of pulling this. Once the ground dries out a little bit more, I suppose. But, yeah, this thing just looks like a beast with the duels on it. First time I've ever seen duels on it was this year. Been looking for duels on and off for the last four years for this sucker and finally found some, so... Yep, I'll talk to you guys later.